Sage Wanderer coming at you from my van down by the river. So, if you've been watching this channel, you know that I've been perplexed lately as to what happened to Antifa. And that yesterday was May 1st, and that's May Day. That's the big communist Antifa rally day. Uh, Antifa was tearing up stuff in capitals in other countries like Paris and in Germany. But where was Antifa in America? Specifically, where were they in Portland, which has been so active? Last May Day, uh, Antifa nearly burned down the whole city of Portland. They busted out windows. They tore things up. They burned cars. It was a big deal. And so I was prepared to cover that, only to find out that nothing happened on May Day. It wasn't a May Day uh, protest. It was a May Day picnic. So what happened to Antifa? Well, because I dug a little deeper, I uncovered something that made me that has me uh, bringing up a theory. I have a theory about what happened with Antifa on May Day. So we did have Antifa activity, I believe, but just not on May Day. So the night before May Day, on April 30th, there was a vandalization of 20 plus cop cars, Portland cop cars, were vandalized uh, by individuals who poured acrylic paint onto the, onto, there was some several hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage or something uh, that they have to be repainted. They knew what they were doing. And so that was, there was that vandalization. That was the night before May 1st. And then last night, or more importantly, this morning, the morning of May 2nd, um, they have uh, the reports of three banks that were vandalized when they people threw rocks through the windows. Now, there were witnesses and surveillance cameras to these attacks of three banks in southeast Portland. They were uh, done by individuals wearing all black, wearing black hoodies, and wearing uh, bandana masks. I'm assuming red bandana. This would be the black bloc uh, Antifa um, uh, communist soldiers that are doing this. So they did have their say. They went after the cops the night before, and they went after the banks, another one of their favorite targets, the day after May Day. But why nothing on May Day? They were told to stand down. They were told to stand down, but yet they couldn't just not do anything on May Day. May Day is the big communist uprising day. It just would, it would gripe them to not do anything on May Day, even if they took payment to not do anything on May Day. If they took payment to stand down on May Day. Well, they had to get it out of their system, so they went out and they did a bunch of cop cars the night before, and then they went out and did a bunch of banks the morning after. Just my theory. But they had to vent, and they couldn't do it on May Day. Why didn't they just do it on May Day? That was the whole thing that everybody else was doing. Why? Were they just trying to be different? Or was the Pacific Northwest bar, uh, arm of Antifa paid, told, commanded to, instructed to step down and to not cause any mayhem? Just my theory, but it sure looks like it holds water to me. God save our republic.